Hey everyone, how's it going today? Lamora here, and welcome back to yet another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. We are here in the Waking Sands, talking to Menphilia to finally finish up this quest. I know, I know, I'm so sorry, but hey, it is what it is. Welcome back, Nia. I am pleased that you and Thancred have been getting along. I see. You have done well to uncover the truth. My thanks for the report. Suffice it to say, they will not willingly part with this information. I fear blood will be spilled before all is said and done. So here we have just a few different options that I could possibly take. The question is, do I really want to? No, none of this stuff is good. So I'm just going to stick with the bronze or copper pieces or whatever we have here. Okay, we do have the next quest, but... Here's the thing, on the login screen for Final Fantasy XIV today, there was whisperings of a new limited time event. I want to do it, but we had the Palace of the Dead last time, and I didn't finish this quest the episode before that, and I feel bad. So the question is, do we just continue on, or do we do that, hmm... You know what? I'm just going to continue on with the story. I don't want to have too many interruptions. Hopefully in like three or four episodes, we can go do that thing and it'll still be active. Anyways, life, materia, and everything. Menphilia would like you to meet a distinguished individual. Though we seek a peaceful solution to the primal problem, we must needs be ready to fight for our cause. That you might take to the field suitably prepared, I would have you meet with a goblin acquaintance of mine. His name is Maxim M Mutomics Bubbly Pots. Mutomics Bubbly Pots. <laughs> and he is a scholar of no small repute. Mutomix is renowned for having introduced a revolutionary method of enhancing equipment to Eorzea. The knowledge of this method was once a closely guarded secret, but thanks to Mutomix and his students, it has now been dis uh, disseminated to the great benefit of all the realm. It would serve you well to acquire an understanding of the process. For this purpose, I shall lend you a blade. Take it to Mutamix and bid him to use it to demonstrate his craft to you. Mutamix is ever to be found at his camp in central Thanalan, a place known as the Bonfire. Look for a pillar of smoke and the way will become clear. Okay. So that materia thing that I was telling you about is now going to be explained to us a little bit further. Which is awesome. Materia is a great thing in this game that I have yet to really mess around with, but would like to. And maybe it's here, now that I won't be skipping through the text without reading it, that I'll finally understand what materia is and how to use it appropriately. Now, let's see. Our quest is taking us to central Thanalan. The question is, do we teleport there? Hmm, it was... I don't have technically the place that it wants me to... Uh, yes, I do. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. I always get a little cautious whenever playing this game and how we're supposed to go about or how people would enjoy going about or how I feel comfortable going about the traveling in this game. I mean, a majority of it. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, I'm so sorry. Let's eat our eggs. Because uh, a more majority of the game is just kind of walking around and just being, you know, filled with fluff. Hey, hey, little mini Moogle. Because, like, it's not... The traveling in this game isn't fun, you know? Like, until you get the chocobo, and... Yeah, I guess until you get the chocobo, the, the traveling in this game just, like, isn't good. You know, the fact that your sprint's on such a cooldown. Like, maybe if it wasn't for that, I would just say, like, yeah, we'll just run it. It's cool. We can, we can talk and we can enjoy the scenery together. But I'm trying to get through the main MSQ... The whole point of the series isn't really to, you know, show off the game and every single system and and graphical detail and 
every little thing that it has to offer. It's just like, okay, let's get through the main story and then go from there. Yeah, a little summer outfit. Looking good. Anyways, we have Matumix Bubbles Pops. <laughs> I, I just, uh, that is such a name, huh? Pshka! Who is Uplander? Come to tent ring of Mutumix Bubbly Pops. Oh, he's gonna have some kind of weird speech. Okay, I will try my best not to flub it all up, but I'm the master of flubbing speech, so who knows? Fighty Tool drinks in airy self. When full of airy self, Fighty Tool changes to stony shiny. Name of Materia. If Materia joins with other Fighty Tool, then big yes, Fighty Tool gains power of airy self. Psh, sk Moon Mix is reckoning that Uplander is friend of Menphilia. See, I don't know if this psh, k is like the breathing apparatus that it has. I'm gonna assume it's like a Darth Vader. <laughs> yes, tongue flaps reach ears of Mutamix with fastness. Menphilia wants Uplander to see the power of Materia. Uplander brings Fighty Tool to Mutamix. Yes. I don't know how to pronounce that. Fighty Tool is unstrong as Eating Tool. Makes good Tichi show of power of materia. The Materia Master. Now Eyes of Uplander point at Fighty Tool. Yes? Materia join with Fighty Tool. Fighty Tool gains power of Materia. Fighty Tool reborn. Here, Uplander, take Fighty Tool to Menphilia. Materia, strictly speaking, is a kind of crystal. It is created by drawing out the etheric con uh, constituents from a piece of equipment and then crystallizing them. Constituents. The etheric constituents. Not just any old equipment will serve, mind you. It must have sufficient spirit bond. That being a measure of how fully an item has been imbued with its owner's spirit. When ye attach a piece of materia to gear, ye imbued the host item with its power. That's how M Master Mutamix turned that dagger, oh yours, so from some summit, as would have suggest uh, struggled uh, something. I guess. I I don't I don't know how to sumat. From Sumat, as would have struggled to cut a stake into a weapon worth wielding. Like, that whole sentence is fucked. Uplander wishes to be joiner of Materia. Then Uplander best fill brief brain case with knowledge of crafty making. With knowings of crafty making, Uplander can become joiner of Materia. If Uplander wants brain case to rattle with knowings of Materia... Uplander best trade tongue flaps with learny ones of Mutamex. Well, that was a whole whole thing. Uh, what do you unlock, my friends? You give us just some materia extraction stuff. Not gonna do it. Not not interested at the moment. So yeah, I guess that's just the materia stuff that we have, and as far as we need to go with it, there's much more. Like there's there's clearly much more to be had with the whole materia extracting and linking i just i just don't know <laughs> like it's just not my area of expertise okay so we're back here in the waking sands i just wanted to cut out a lot of that traveling once again i think for this episode at least we'll uh, start teleporting around and probably for some future episodes as well as we start going more global across aorzia i just or continental i guess we should call it it's just such a hassle to run everywhere, and it's easier just to bounce back and forth with teleports. But anyways, Minfilia, welcome back, Nia. I trust your visit to the bonfire proved fruitful. Yes, it did, and we got the Materia Enhanced Dagger for you as well. Ah, what a remarkable difference a single piece of Materia can make. Granted, the skills needed to manipulate the substance are not easily acquired, 
but one need only look upon the results to realize such efforts are worthwhile. I am sure you are aware the quality of, one equi of one's equipment can be the difference between victory and defeat. Materia may well give you the edge you need, Nia, so make it your ally. Now, it is time we discuss the matter of your next mission. Pray speak with me when you are ready to begin. Yeah, I think we can finish that. And then start up our next one. Oh, Lord of Inferno. Okay, so now we're starting to ramp up here. Minfilia would like you to assist the Immortal Flames. And we get a unique, untradeable bracelet here for uh, doing this, which I think, in all cases, is about the same. But it increases my item levels, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, it doesn't increase any defense or strength or, or any of these attributes. But, again, increases item levels, so I don't know. Maybe that will be worth it. Word has arrived from Thancred concerning our ongoing investigation. It appears he was able to extract some information from our friend Ungst, the, the false priest. He revealed that he is due to meet with the Amalja to discuss their dealings. The Immortal Flames believe that the meeting will present an ideal opportunity to ambush and capture the Amalja responsible for the abductions, and so they mean to have Ungust attend as planned. As the Amalja are anticipated to offer fierce resistance, the Immortal Flames have requested our support. I would have you provide it to them, yeah. Thancred is presently attending to another matter, but will join you as soon as he is able. Until such time as he does, you will be the, the Scion's sole representative on the ground. Before he left, he bade me to tell you to save some for him. Such is his confidence in you, a confidence I share. When you, are, when you have made ready, pray take yourself to Camp Drybone and report to the flame sergeant leading the miss mission. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Alright, so we're going back to Camp Drybones, my dude. <laughs> like, I just left there. <laughs> okay. It's cool. I'll see you guys there. Okay, here we are. Camp Drybones. It looks like my flame sergeant is going to be somewhere around here. Okay, I think he's going to be in this area. Because there's the captain. So the sergeant is here. Hello. Sorry, I got a little too close with the zoom there. Ah, you're Neil Alel of the Science. My thanks for coming, friend. We're stronger for your assistance. This guy is struggling. I feel so bad for his back. Poor dude. Allow me to brief you on our mission. Our objective is to capture Amalja and pri um, prize from them the whereabouts of the abductees. The Lizardmen aren't aware that their man, Ungust, has been exposed. When they come to the rendezvous point to meet the traitor, will spring the trap. Owing to the clandestine nature of the mission, we can deploy only a small contingent. Every member must count, and so we request the aid of the Scions. The rendezvous will take place at the Invisible City. Please make your way there and lie in wait. We stand to learn much and more of the Amalja plot if the mission succeeds. Nia. If the mission succeeds, Nia. Let's make sure it does. Alright, you've got my attention. I get to do some fighting if they put up a fight. You know your girl is here for this. Alright, so we need to go all the way up here. The best course of action would just to be exiting out this way, most likely. Yeah, 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 yeah. That seems like it's good. Alright, let's start our sprint up so we can get there just a bit faster. Before all our food runs out in 45 minutes. Alright, so we have our carbuncle out. Whoopsies, press the wrong button. I meant to do this. Uh, we have carbuncle out, so we should be good. I keep on, for whatever reason, forget to, um, to bring him out. In my fights, I keep on forgetting that I'm playing the Arcanist. Uh, mostly to do that because I'm switching between my uh, Conjurer and Arcanist. I've, and I have the same clothing on for both of them. It's hard to distinguish which one I am at any given moment. Uh, unless I look at my skills, which I'm too stupid to do that. So, you know, such is the nature. We're just going to avoid some fights if we can. There's no point in fighting these guys like they're level 16 first off and second off like we're trying to do some stuff what's that little chicken rotten thing over here what is this oh it's it's one of the monster hunter things 
Oh, it's the, uh, the little Monster Hunter World Cats. That's so adorable. Okay, so we're about to enter into our own instance. That means we will not run into any other players for a little while. Yep, level 24. Let's go. Is the bait in place? Our man is in position, sir. Good. We make our move as soon as the Amalja appear. Yes, sir. Those guys look so weird walking. They look so top-heavy. Like they're just ready to topple over at any given second. Huh? What is the meaning of this? I guess I would be like, what is the meaning of this? Wait, something's amiss. Oh yeah, things ain't looking too good. Oh yeah, there's reinf Ooh, <laughs> There's some reinforcements. <laughs> I'm afraid your little ambush ends here. I eluded the immortal flame's clutches for moons before finally being caught. Did you not wonder how I managed it? <laughs> it was as if someone was feeding him information from the inside. <laughs> Aye, your every movement was known to me before ahead of time. <laughs> now, as much as I'd love to chat a while, I have appointments to keep. They're all yours. <laughs> A little wave. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> like, you're not all going to die. Do you not know who you're fucking with right now? I will show you the wrath. And the good thing is we do have... Alright, so we want to probably focus on some of these guys on the outside here. Uh, as much as, you know, we want to finish the fight by getting out, you know, the main bad guy... It's probably better if we thin out my cards here just a bit, it's, you know, kind of how I'm seeing this. Though it may be uh, beneficial in a way to take out all of the guys by putting some of my dot effects on them and letting that kind of do some damage. But the good thing is Carby, or Carbuncle, is doing some good work on everybody here with his AoEs, which is nice, which I should probably you know, actually use instead of just, you know, doing this. So let's let's do this and let's have him use one of these. Uh, and then should we start focusing on... Hmm. Should we start focusing on these on these guys? Yeah, they're, they're moving in, so might as well, right? I don't think they have anything like a... a healer, so we should be good if we just take out these guys. Oh, my drain touches back. Okay, sweet. That'll help things along. Let's kind of get in position, and then we'll take out this ranger as well. Oh, they just have more dudes. Okay. <laughs> they just they just have more dudes. That's fun. All right, let's take out this lancer then. Hey, can I click on you? Can I click upon your face? Thank you. <laughs> oh, I already put my asthma on him. Oops, okay. Well, whatever. I'll just do it again. I just want to get rid of this one lancer because he's specifically focusing me. Uh, everyone else can kind of suck my butt. I don't really care. Alright, so he'll, he's dead. So let's put our dot effects on the big bad guy now. Uh, I think that did it. And we can use Drain Touch after this. Yeah, so more guys are just going to continuously spawn. We just need to probably get this guy down to a certain percentile. So we'll just focus on doing that. Uh, while making sure that we take care of these dudes as well. The ones who are specifically targeting me. I just hope I'm like right level for this, you know? Like, these guys, these guys are getting messed up over here. Because those guys aren't ever going to stop spawning. At least I don't think they will. Uh, so the question is, like, how long do we have till this just becomes, like, a battle of attrition and uh, MP? You know? Do I have enough to make it through this? I should. 
you know, if, if I manage things correctly, I, I should have more than enough MP for this. Maybe I should hit him with a an addle. I don't use that a lot because he is a thaumaturge. Oh, there we go. Cool. For some reason, I thought that fight went on for much, much longer. Put up your weapon, or your comrade's dead man. Behind you! Bring her. The rest of you, march. Oh, look at that. I'm not even tied up. I'm just, you know, awake and okay. It's actually pretty nice. You, you can, and if you needed to, you can just leave this area. <laughs> like, you're not stuck here, which is really nice. Like, if you just like, okay, I don't feel like doing this right now. It's really nice of them. I fear the emulsion mean to give us to their god as an offering. If I must die, then let me die a soldier's death with steel in hand. All right, so we have to do the bowl of embers now. This is a new duty that we have to kind of... Uh, sink into um no not guilt ice. ah here it is so this is the trials um that's what we're looking for here it's not a dungeon it's a trial it's just like a boss and that's it so we'll join in and as soon as this this pops we'll we'll come back and we'll enjoy it together lord of the inferno <laughs> no i'm not gonna do that lord of the inferno hearken to our plea Lord of the Inferno, deliver us from our misery! O oh, mighty Ifrit, Lord of the Inferno, your humble servants beseech you, grace us with your divine presence. That shit just looks so good. Like that whole sequence. Oh, mighty Ifrit, we bring before you ignorant savages who knew not of your god heed. If it pleases you, Lord, scorch the heathen souls with your cleansing flame and mark them as your own. Now, one thing I don't know real quick is that if you're talking about something that's like a higher ranking status than you, are you supposed to capitalize you and your, or is that just something that like got overlooked? Because like clearly your as in like a god sort of thing. I don't know. I, I, I actually don't know. It'd be interesting to know that. Bloody hells. Bring those two as well. <laughs> What's going on? This isn't what we agreed. None but servants of the Lord Ifrit may behold the right of summoning. The souls of unbelievers are forfeit. No! Spare me, I beg you! Pitiful children of man, by my breath I claim you. Arise once more as my loyal minions. Feed my flames with your faith, and all who stand against us shall burn. Oh, mighty Ifrit, my one true God. Your words are my bread. Impossible. By what sorcery do you resist my master's will? Could it be? Your soul already belongs to another? Yes, that is the only explanation. Forsooth, my frail mortal frame can serve as a vessel to the blessing of but one. Yet I smell not the taint of another upon thee. 
The truth of thine allegiance waxeth clear. Thou art the godless blessed number. The paragons warned of thine warned of thine abhorrent kind. Thine existence is not to be suffered. And so he shall try and smite us. Try being the key word. Alright, so we are about to fight Ifrit. It does have a few uh, different things that we have to worry about as far as mechanics go. Hopefully everyone knows of them so that we're not... Uh... Great, I already took some damage. Alright, let's uh, let's hit myself with the psychics just so that we're not getting too bad. Uh, there are a few different mechanics that we all need to know about and pay attention to. Hopefully everyone knows them and we're not all just going to wipe the first time that we, uh, we attempt this. It's not too hard of a fight. Pretty much the tank is necessary for pulling Ifrit away, obviously facing him away from the rest of the group, because he does have that flame breath, as you saw, which kind of does a cone attack in front of him and can damage anyone there. Um, and then he has a few other things that you have to work, look out for. Okay, why is he leading him over here? It's just like, it's not, like, I don't understand why. Um, so essentially, Ifrit doesn't have, what is this tank doing? Why is he facing it towards the group? Okay. Yeah, keep the aggro on you, my dude. So, here we go. Um, if it doesn't do the cone attacks with the, like, clear um, surrounding areas, like all the other bosses have done so far, this is more, like, things that you have to pay attention to. So, he'll just put, like, an area around you without putting, like, an AoE marker uh, or anything like that. And every once in a while, he'll do, like, a push, and just, like, anyone who gets close to him will... Um, be pushed away from Ifrit. So you don't want to stand next to him unless you're the tank. And I'm trying to figure out why this tank is constantly turning Ifrit around. It doesn't really make sense to me. I mean, then again, I've, I've never really played the Paladin class, I think it is. So maybe it has positionals. But then Ifrit has a few other attacks. He has one that I believe goes around the, the outside of the ring that you have to like run in towards. And I think he has one that's inside. Now here's the biggest challenge for Ifrit, is we need to focus on the nail, which I don't think anyone else is doing. Uh, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put focus on the nail in, in chat so that everyone knows to focus on the nail. Cause he'll do a party wide AOE that if the nail is not destroyed, it will wipe us instantly. So we need to make sure this is our main focus, that everyone is putting all their power in there. Uh, it is bad if you do not get the nail. It is one hit instant KO. So he will now do his AOE, and we just made it by the skin of our teeth. So we shouldn't... Oh, we wiped. We did it too late. Okay. Yep, so we have to do that. Um... Okay, um, so yeah, I'm just putting in the chat that the nail will one-shot us if we don't focus it instantly. So as soon as that nail comes down, we have to get it because that's what will happen. So hopefully that they know, they see this, and they're paying attention to chat now, and we can go from there. Uh, it is massively important that you get the nail. That is the main mechanic of Ifrit. If anything else, if you don't know anything else about Ifrit, if you want to stand in its AoE ranges, go right ahead, just get rid of that nail. Uh, so now you can see we are doing this again because we did wipe. Um, but that's my bad. I should have just asked in chat if anyone else knew because we do have a bunch of <laughs> new leafs in here. So I should have been more proactive in, in, in figuring that kind of stuff out. But at the same time, you know, it's not that big a deal. It's not like we, uh, we lost this huge amount of progress or anything like that. We didn't lose like 40 minutes or have to do an entire dungeon again or anything like that. These guys keep on getting close to Ifrit for reasons I'm not quite sure. Uh, but the tank isn't really helping him by kiting him around everywhere. So we don't really know where to stand per se. I don't know if he's worried about the healer not doing their job. Oof, that, yeah, you should have. <laughs> uh, is he healing himself? I don't know. I'll heal him. I'll put a psychic on him. Anyways. Yeah, it's really not helping that he's, like, going through and just, like, turning it for every which way. But, hey, what can you do, right? Hopefully we'll make it this time. Hopefully there will be no problems. Uh, I'll just keep an eye out for the nail. 
I think he's about to bring it down, so we will uh, just get ready. There's the nail. So we saw a few focus on that. Hopefully everyone will else will. I shouldn't have used my Aetheral Flow stacks there. That was my bad. Um, that was stupid of me. Why don't... Do I have my Carbuncle out? I think he, uh, he went away. That was my bad. After we wiped. I should have been paying attention to that more. Alright, so we'll get this going. Uh, hello? And then we'll see if we can destroy it. Hopefully this time. There it goes. Alright, so we should be good now. Don't bring him towards me, please. <laughs> There's no point in that. Uh, I'm actually going to get Carby out here. And we shouldn't wipe this time. We'll take damage, no doubt. But we didn't wipe, so there's that. Alright, so I'm going to... Oh, he got me and that. So I'm going to see if I can heal as well. Uh, just give our guy a little bit of, of help here. Uh, just because I can. That's part of my, my gear set. Okay, cool. So this is the other mechanic. You just have to stand out, obviously, outside of uh, these things. Uh, I'm just reapplying my dots so that I don't have to worry about it for another second. And as you can see, he does one on the inside, he does one on the outside. And I think if we're not fast enough, he'll do another one that's, um, I'm going to back up a little bit here, that's just kind of random, but I may be mistaking that for something else. Uh, I may be mistaking that for a later fight that comes in the game. Okay, let's just see if we can get out of that in time. If not, it's not that big a deal. Let's reapply our dots. All right, get out of that. Do a nice little drain touch. All right, you know, uh, no one else is doing it, so I am going to. I'm out of this. I'm going to put down Limit Break. And that should kill him, honestly. Unless he gets out of <laughs> the range of it. <laughs> I think it still hit him, though, technically. That's why you shouldn't move your bosses when you are playing tank. Because AoE and <laughs> different attacks can mess, actually. <laughs> which is rather annoying, you know? Pray forgive my lateness. I was delayed by a congression of Amalgia, Amalgia zealots. I swear, each seemed more evangelical than the last. <laughs> Persistent lot. Oh, he's got moves. He's not all talk and a pretty boy. He's actually got some moves on him. Phew. I see the Bloodsworn wasted no time extracting, uh, yeah, extracting the captives. No less than I'd expect from the Flame General's hand-picked men. As for those two, it is fair to say their hardship have only just begun. They have much to answer for. I feel I owe you an apology, Nia. Had I known this mission would prove so dangerous, I would never have left you to face it alone. You have given, uh, you have been given a veritable baptism of fire. But let us continue this conversation in more agreeable surrounds. Camp Dry Bones, shall we say? Yeah, I agree with that. This way, sir! So that was the mighty Ifrit. And what a disappointment he was. 
The readings are nowhere near what I had anticipated. Even the taking Uldan interference even taking Uldan interference into account. You should know better than to rely upon five year old data left by the seventh <laughs> the seventh legion. Nor can we expect any form of support from the motherland, given the troubles at court. We have only ourselves to rely on. Ever the pessimist, my dear Livia, Livia, promise me you'll never change. We've wasted enough time here. The meter of yours, that meter of yours is too old to give any reading worth a damn. Not that there was aught worth a damn for it to read, but I take to your point. I suppose we must contact, content ourselves with the knowledge that we achieved our primary objective. Yet I find that I am troubled by that adventurer's unexpected show of strength. Could such a foe prove hindrance to our plans? Perhaps, but that is consideration for another time. You have been given a task. That is your priority. I suggest you treat it as such. Fail to do as my lord commands. And I will spare him the trouble of punishing you. With allies like that, beware a woman in love. I shall need to be on my best behavior. Shadows always lingering over us from the highest cliff tops. All right, there we go. Uh, let's throw out a player accommodation to the healer there. I'm not quite sure what the heck the tank was doing. He was just kind of all over the place, so no. Ill will towards him, but uh, I don't really know what he was up to. Uh, I'm going to leave these guys are still viewing the cutscene. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about player accommodations as far as this one goes. At least for this character, it just doesn't matter. For my other character, I'll stay for a player accommodation. Oh well. Okay, here we are in the middle of a rainstorm. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Ah, there you are, Nia. Come, rest a while. You will have no better opportunity. After witnessing their god in... Ingenominous defeat? <laughs> Ignoramus defeat? I don't know what <laughs> Other god's defeat, the Amagil will be less inclined to risk our wrath for a time, at least. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. I was in the process of apologizing. I do hope you can forgive me. I arrived too late to be of any use to you or the abductees. They may be whole of body, but the same cannot be said of their minds. For once a man is tempered, ah, but it ill suits me to dwell on the negatives. Amidst all our misfortunes, there is still reason to rejoice. Ifrit is slain, and by your hands no less. That is the deed of no ordinary individual, Nia. Not that I ever thought you were ordinary. On the contrary, I have long suspected that you have the potential to shape the fate of this realm. What can I say? My eye, my fine eye for talent remains undimmed. Menphilia will be proud beyond all reckoning when she hears of your deeds. I trust you shan't object to my bearing, to my bearing the tidings to her. That way, I can claim to have contributed something to this mission. You, meanwhile, have earned yourself a rest. Take some time to relax and return to the Waking Sands when you are good and ready. We can discuss matters in more detail then. Just don't take too long, will you? The realm's problems won't solve themselves. You got it, Thancred. Cannon will do. But we will return at post haste because I want to finish up this mission fairly quickly. Because uh, next time we are going to tackle our class quest because we are level 25. Alright, we're here back in the Waking Sands, so let's turn in. I, I don't know why I need to talk to this lady out here. Ah, the triumphant hero returns. Thancred told us of the news upon his arrival. He is presently in the solar, giving a full report to Lady Menphilia. You should join them at once. Lady Menphilia is most eager to see you. Okay, so we got our risk guards from this lady. Again, not quite sure. Uh, I guess... Whatever. <laughs> My late arrival nearly cost Nia her life. I wasn't there when the Amalja took her prisoner. And I wasn't there when they served her to Ifrit. 
Yes, by some miracle she survived, but that does not excuse the fact that she should never have had to face such dangers alone. I failed her utterly, just as I'm failing you all. What's done is done, Thancred. You can ill blame yourself for every... Nia, it's so good to see you again. Impeccable timing, my friend. I had just finished regaling Memphilia with your heroic exploits. Thancred has told me everything. You have done well to return to us. The perils you faced were undeniably great, yet a part of me believes that I had no cause to fear, and now we can put uh, put paid to our long investigation. And now we can put paid to our long investigation? What? As we suspected, the Amalja undertook both the robbery and the abductions of the aim with the aim of summoning their primal Ifrit. Nor is this tale limited to Ulda. Similar incidents have been rife in both Limsa Lamensa and Gridani of late. I dare say you've been curious as to how these crimes are linked to the primals. Permit me to explain. Having manifested in the physical realm, primals must consume aether if they are uh, if they are to maintain their presence here, and the stronger they become, the more aether they require. Now aether exists throughout creation. It flows through all life and permeates in the very air that we breathe. Alas, this alone will not suffice to sustain the likes of Ifrit. Nay, he and his kind require a more concentrated source of aether crystals. It is for this reason that incidents involving crystals can often be traced back to a primal. Which leaves us with the why of the abductions. To understand this, you must first understand how primals are born. When in all is well with the world, primals possess no physical form. Their essence is dispersed across the great river of Aether. However, when the world is plunged into chaos, those who worship the primals cry out to their gods for deliverance from suffering. These cries serve as a beacon towards which a primal's essence is irresistibly drawn. It is this coming together, or etheric coalescence, which grants the being's physical form. Once born, a primal gains strength from its followers' worship. The more numerous and fervent they are, the more powerful their gods become. But the primals are seldom satisfied with such reverence as their adherents freely give. And in order to gain more power, they do not scruple to create followers. They do this by tempering mortals, and a process to which you yourself were subjected. Yet even as Ifrit took your comrades in his thrall, you alone remained unaffected. This is thanks to the power you possess, the Ico. We know not of we know not the why of it, but those blessed with the Ico or Echo are immune to primal influence. It is though the greater power protects us. When first you came to us, I told you that the Echo would be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. I trust you now begin to see why. The recent incidents all share a common trait, meticulous planning. Such elaborate designs are a new development and one which fills me with an unshakable sense of foreboding. While I share your concern, the, my presiding feeling is one of relief at your safe return. Ah, the immortal flames assured me that they will deal with the aftermath, so you need not concern yourself with that. We may rest easy for a time. I suggest you take full advantage of the respite, Nia. You may be sure it won't last long. Once the people learn the identity of the hero who felled Ifrit, I fear you will have nary a moment to yourself. Whether she intends to or not, Menphilia neglected to tell you something. Something I think it would be best you heard from one of us. It concerns the tempered abductees that were rescued. 
I am sorry to report that all that all are to be put to death. The flames with whom you were imprisoned included. Needless to say, this information must not be made known to the public. I swear to you that we would not do this if there were any other recourse. But once a man is tempered, he is tempered for life. His very existence lends strength to the primal who he cannot choose but worship. And so we scions continue to fight, that no more innocence need be sacrificed. I hope that you will continue to stand with us, Nia. But I should be going. I must offer my apologies to the Flame General for his for the losses his people suffered. Till next time. Bye, Thancred. Thanks for that cool flippy help that you did. Oh. Gods forgive me. How many more lives? Louis Soir would never have allowed this to happen. I have to do better. I have to be stronger. And with all that said and done, the quest is complete just in time to end this episode. Guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. I really do hope you've enjoyed this episode so far and are looking forward to all the rest. There is plenty more to come, so stick tuned. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more where we're making our way through the Realm Reborn main story quest and hopefully busting our way through Heaven Sword and Stormblood and Shadowbringers after that. Alright guys, I'll see you all later. Peace out and much love to you.